Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. Hope you had a, a fabulous, long three-day weekend. It is January 17th, a Tuesday. Uh, welcome to this week's Hughes Huddle. I have a little bit of information to share with you this week. Uh, first, let's get the, the educational testing stuff out of the way. Uh, there are a few tests. So um, on Thursday this week, fifth and sixth grade will be doing a reading CFA. That's a common formative assessment, kind of a checkpoint to see where the kiddos are. So that is Thursday, both grade levels for reading. Uh, fifth grade math levels classes will have a common assessment on Friday. So if you're in a fifth grade math levels class, please make sure that you're prepared for that common assessment on Friday. Um, I do, parents, I want to let you know, be on the lookout for correspondence, whether it's email, uh, letters going home, etc. cetera, uh, here in the coming days and weeks for communication from Knox and McCullough, our two junior highs that we feed into. Um, they are getting ready to have their parent information nights uh, coming up. And I know some of the dates are kind of in limbo right now because they're trying to finalize some course selection stuff of stuff that will be available to the students next year. So once they finalize those dates, they will be sending it out. So if your kiddo is zoned for Knox, you'll be getting something uh, from Mr. Dahl, the principal there on uh, parent information night. And then if your kiddos are zoned for McCullough, uh, Ms. Hauser is the principal. She'll be reaching out to you. Um, they will also, both Ms. Hauser and Mr. Dahl, uh, will be uh, their counselors and themselves will be coming over here in the coming weeks to do course selection for your sixth grade students that are moving to seventh grade and moving on to junior high. They get to do their course selection. So the counselors sit down with the kiddos, kind of go over all the classes that are offered, find out what the kiddos are interested in, and then start the course selection process. So that will be coming up um, soon as well here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so just keep a lookout for that, for correspondence on uh, when those parent information nights are, are taking place. Um, and then on as far as Wilkerson's concerned, as I mentioned last week, um, this coming Friday will be my last day out front to do the traffic duty. Uh, so starting next Monday, I will be out front, but I'll be more on the sidewalk duty with the kiddos um, walking across the sidewalk. I will not be directing and letting each side come in. So um, just wanna remind you of that. So this Friday will be the last day that I'm directing traffic out there. Um, and other than that, uh, we are, we've, we're getting geared up. I mean, the semester, uh, is well underway and, um, we're getting kind of geared up with, uh, we have our second interim test coming up. Uh, our students performed very well in the first interim back in the fall. Interims replace the old benchmarks. So it's kind of, you have an interim one, like I've mentioned before, kind of see where our kids are at. Then we'll have an interim two coming up here next month, and that'll see how much the kids have grown from interim one to interim two to see if they're on the right path and then star at the end of the year. So it is, um, you know, it's going to be that time um, where it's where teachers are laser focused on trying to get all the content in and make sure the kids are grasping it and understanding it and then adjusting instruction based off of individual kids needs um, to make sure that they are hitting their growth goals um, and what the kiddos are trying to accomplish. The kids do set goals with their teachers on what you know, they want to accomplish uh, with each test, with interns, etc. So we really celebrate it when they hit those targets. Um, so that's really it. Um, like I said, CFA on Thursday, 5th and 6th, 5th grade math levels on Friday. Check your email uh, for correspondence uh, from Knox and McCullough on upcoming um, parent information nights. And then they'll be coming over for course selection as well. And then traffic is ending on Friday. I'm sorry for that. Um, but other than that, hope you have a fabulous short week. It'll fly by before we know it. Uh, and the weekend will be here and my next use huddle will return next Monday. Okay. Uh, I know we have some spirit nights coming up. I don't have those dates on me, but I know it's in a couple of weeks, but I'll tell you about those, um, on next Monday. Cause uh, we've had some, some uh, fabulous turnouts at our spirit night. So hope you all have a wonderful week. As always, if you need anything, reach out and uh, we'll talk to you all next Monday. Okay. Bye guys.